like Isaiah, I would say, who will believe this message? And to whom will the arm of the Lord be revealed? For I, the praying apostle, declare that Jesus is the guilt offering. Surely Jesus, our Savior, came on earth to redeem his creation. Let us read right now Isaiah 53 verse 10. Yet it was the Lord's will, God's will, to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, hallelujah, he will see his offspring and prolong his days and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. You have to realize this word of Isaiah and he said to the people who will believe such message that the Savior will come and he is the creator and yet, God will find it necessary to make him suffer for his people. My God, my God. And yet, even in his death, hallelujah, God will exalt him and resurrect him and allow him to live. Because as he was doing the will of the Father. He prospered. And he was able to enter eternal life. Let us read right now. Numbers 14 verse 18. There you will see how God operates. And this is why he didn't allow Jesus, hallelujah, not to pay for his children. Numbers 14 verse 18. The Lord is slow to anger, abounding in love, and forgiving sin and rebellion, yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation. My God, my God, God the Father doesn't allow his children to get away with sin. Hallelujah. And this is why he said, the same way the children must pay for their parents' sin. Jesus, the Creator, who is our Father, must also pay for us. A lot of people, they do not understand why is it Jesus has to come? Why in the death of Jesus they find redemption? Because God Hallelujah. He's a God of His Word. Whatever He said must come to pass. He said, no guilty person will go unpunished. We deserve hell. We deserve destruction. Death. We deserve to suffer. And Jesus must come to suffer for us. In Leviticus 5 verse 18, we see that even somebody committed a sin unknowingly, they must a guilt offering. Let's read that.
Christ as a guilt offering a ram from the flock one without defect and of proper, proper value in this way the priest will make atonement for him for the one he has committed unintentionally and he will be forgiven a lot of people said oh you know I, I, I have seen an ignorance guess get what you're still guilty it's like when you're driving down the road and you didn't realize that now it's no more 65 it's 45 guess what when the police stop you you will be found guilty hallelujah and Jesus was found guilty even he was holy he is our creator he was responsible for his creation for the mess Adam had created this is why Jesus was found found himself saying I regretted that I have created man and God said find yourself a people and you will come and die for them and God knows even before the foundation of this world that this will happen right now let's go back to Isaiah 53 and now let's read verse 5 but he was pierced for our transgression he was crushed for our iniquity the punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wound we are healed when they captured Jesus the first place they start beating him was on his back. Hallelujah. In the scripture, this is where Jesus became your Jehovah Rapha, your healer. And the Holy Spirit, when I was writing the book before the throne, Show me, hallelujah, 49 demons, evil spirit that Jesus took away from us. They are captain of legions. And probably I will not have time to explain all these things to you. But today we are going to concentrate when they took Jesus and start beating him, beating him up. A better way to understand that Jesus is our guilt of him and become our Jehovah Rapha to give us peace in the mind and heal our bodies because of his wounds. Let's read Matthew. When evening came, many who were demon possessed were brought to him, and he brought out, hallelujah, and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities, carried our diseases. My God, my God. Jesus, the Holy Spirit was clear and explained to me that when Jesus, hallelujah, was 
beating on his back. He took away seven cases. I want you to go online. LJP Lahore. And you will see the guilt offering allow you to get rid of seven curses, seven demons. And also, all the seven curses were replaced by seven blessings. Hallelujah. Let's go back to the scripture again. With a word, hallelujah, Jesus healed all the sick and drove out evil spirits. My God, my God, hallelujah, glory to his name. This is how Jesus became the guilt of a ring. When you pay a guilt offering, this is why I said go online so you can identify the seven curses that Jesus took away. Hallelujah. Jesus become your healer. Jesus give you eternal life. Jesus give you the victory. My God, my God. For your shame, he give you fame. For your death, he gave you immortality. For your guilt, he gave you innocence. My God, my God. Go online and check those things out. LJP that all. And you go, it's on the first page. You go and read guilt offering. And you will see, my brother, my sisters. Ha! Oh, hallelujah. And this is why when Isaiah, he was starting preaching about this word, he said, who will believe this message? To whom? Hallelujah. Will the arm of the Lord be revealed? And I'm saying this thing to you today. For the people that are going to churches, telling you this is done away, this is a practice they used to do. Oh, do you think they were doing it for no reason? This is a symbolism. Because Jesus will come and will take away your guilt. Hallelujah. He was innocent, but yet he was found guilty. Hallelujah. Read the whole chapter of Isaiah. And I would suggest that you read the King James Version or the NIV 1984 and you will see that. God loves you my brother. He wants to take away your sin and first Hallelujah. You may be guilty of sin without knowing it. Hallelujah. When you find a kid 15 year old committing an act, a violent act, and this is when he got caught, he realized that he was doing wrong. But yet, he is guilty. There is a way out of this guilt. We have grown up. Hallelujah. I received the letters. Living with guilt. Their lives are totally messed up. But Jesus came for you, my brother. Jesus came for you, my sister, to deliver you, to find you innocent. If you agree to repent of your sin, do not believe the preacher is telling you that you should not feel guilty because once you are saved, you always save. God said, He will not let the guilty unpunished, especially in this year 2013, when we have an angel of disaster loose to bring judgment upon the people. Repent of your sin, of your sin, and Jesus will take away your guilt and you will be free to live according to the dictate of your heavenly father. And I leave you with this message 
In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lords want me to give you an opportunity to be a part of His movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report, and the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and Amen.